Hello and welcome to the Wandel IPM PLS View Failure Simulation Scenarios Learning Byte. I'm Gordon Mosley with the Education Services Department at Juniper Networks. I'm glad you're here. Let's get started. After successfully completing this learning byte, you will be able to simulate network failures and view how MPLS tunnels and traffic demands are affected. IPMPLS View is capable of performing extensive simulation scenarios against the modeled network that it maintains. Nodes, links, sites, even individual slots and cards in chassis can be failed. These simulated failures allow the IPMPLS View's mathematical algorithms to compute what would happen to your network when these failures occur. How would MPLS tunnels and traffic demands be rerouted on your network? Can they be rerouted? Are these failures fatal for certain demands and certain tunnels? How do you know this? IPMPLSU will generate extensive reports showing the effects of these failures on your traffic demands and the tunnels in your modeled network. Let's use the IPMPLS View Administrative Interface to see how this works. This is the IPM PLS View Administrative Interface. And this is my modeled network. I can see all the nodes and all the links that make up my model and how they're connected together. Now, in the simulation menu at the top of the IPM PLS View Administrative Interface, I have the option to start a simulation scenario. So I'm going to select that, and it will open up a dialog box. Let me move that down here to the bottom part of the screen and take a look at this and the first tab that I see is a single failure so I'd like to simulate a single node failing and view how my network would react to this now here's how these exhaustive single node failures work what this causes is when I run the simulation it will have IPM PLS view simulate failing an individual node a single node on my modeled network and then it will analyze the label switch paths and the traffic demands that were crossing that failed node and calculate how they would be rerouted if this actually happened on your production network. And then it will generate a report on how that traffic was rerouted and bring the failed node back online. And then step over to the next node, fail it, reroute the paths, report how the traffic was rerouted and then bring that node online and it will repeat that process and step through every single node on this modeled network. I can also do the same process to fail every single link, fail a link, reroute the effective paths, generate a report, bring it back up and step through every single link in the network, every site in the network. I can even come through and fail individual slots in chassis. So step through every node in this network, fail one slot in that node, recalculate, report, bring it back up, fill the next slot in that node, recalculate, report, bring it back up, and step through every single slot and every single node in the network. The same thing with the individual cards in those slots. So the amount of failure simulations that you can generate using this interface is incredible. At every step in the path, it reports to you exactly what would happen if this occurred in your production network. So these are individual one at a time failure types but we also have the ability to simultaneously create multiple failures in the network. Double or triple node or link or site or slot or card or facility failures can be simulated and reported and brought back to life. So what I'd like to perform in this learning byte is a double node failure. And so again, this would cause IPMP list food to fail two nodes at a time, reroute the affected traffic demands and tunnels, report on the rerouting of traffic, and then to bring these nodes back online and step through the entire process again. I'm gonna to go to the report options tab. 
There are some default reports generated when the simulation process occurs, but I am able to modify what is included in those reports and even include additional reports by selecting my desired uh, report options. And, and I'm going to just pick a couple here. I'm just going to say, hey, generate demand over the tunnel utilization. I want to see, as a result of these failures, how are tunnel demands changed on my particular network. Generate a detailed reroute report. So when something does fail, give me really detailed information about how the effective traffic was rerouted. So I'm going to go back to the multiple failures tab and, and I select that I would like to do a double node failure and I'm just going to click on the run button down here to begin executing the simulation and I step through it fairly quickly. Um, it says the total demand routing failure counts 272 demands. We step through fail to bring them up, fail to bring them up. 272 separate demands were affected by this process. There weren't any links that ended up being oversubscribed, so I was okay as far as links because you know that rerouted traffic is going to throw traffic on links that you know weren't carrying that traffic before. But it seems like I was okay here on none of the links being oversubscribed. But to actually see the results, detailed results of this simulation, I need to click on reports to view the results. So I'm going to say okay and return back to the simulation scenarios dialog box and there's a report button. And when I click on this report button, it opens up report manager and this is where all the reports that are generated are stored and there is a special section inside of report manager just for simulations. So I'm going to go under simulation details and we'll take a look at a couple of these. The first one I'll take a look at is a simulation overview. And this gives me just general information about what type of simulation did we execute. We did a two node fail. And the two nodes that were failed in this instance are the Denver and the Houston node were brought down. And at the tunnel layer, the label switch path layer, there were three tunnels that were impacted by this that you know were using this amount of bandwidth. And there were 84 demands there were also affected traffic flows, traffic coming from Denver going to Houston. There were 84 different demands coming through those nodes that were affected by that simulated failure. And then Chicago and Los Angeles were brought down and it affected five tunnels and this many demands and this much bandwidth was affected. And so this is the just general overview of what type of simulation did we run and in general how were things affected. Now remember, we didn't have any oversubscribed links, so I don't really need to pay too much attention to that, but I did have some paths that failed. And so when we did this two node failed and we brought Chicago and, and Los Angeles, there was a particular flow that was traversing those two nodes going from Atlanta to Denver. And it was about this much bandwidth. And that path actually failed when we brought those two nodes down. So I get detailed information about what actual individual traffic flows failed when this particular scenario occurs on my network. And remember, when these nodes failed, certain paths, certain traffic demands are rerouted. So we have a report that can show us rerouted paths. So when I select this report, we did a two node fail here on Denver and Houston. And there were actually four tunnels that were affected by those Denver and Houston nodes failing. The first one was a tunnel from San Jose to Chicago between those two nodes. And this tunnel, let me scroll over here to the right a little bit so we can kind of see a little bit more. You'll see actually a couple of different things about this particular tunnel. This tunnel failed. And you can see here that here's the original path that it took. It was going through these particular links and it has been disconnected. So that was the actual node going down. And then we got kind of lucky and IPMPLS view was able to recalculate a brand new path. And so the original path had a metric of about 5,400. The new recalculated rerouted path has a little bit higher metric and a little bit higher delay. And here's the brand new path that it was rerouted on. So these simulated failures show me which tunnels fail. And this particular report also shows me how those particular tunnels were rerouted. I can see the same information for demands. So this is detailed reporting information about our failure scenarios. In this learning byte, we used IP MPLS view to simulate network failures and viewed how MPLS tunnels and traffic demands were affected by those failures. For more information about Juniper's training and certification offerings, please visit our website. Thank you. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths. 
industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Network's certification program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community, from forums to social media, join the discussion.